Hey guys, so today I'm just gonna be getting ready for school. I'm gonna start off with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So today I have a bit of a late start for school. So I thought I'd pull out the camera and film a little bit. Then I'm taking my Milani Conceal and Perfect um, foundation. This is in 02 Natural. I thought I'd get back to filming again because, you know, I love it. The reason I really stopped is, of course, because of school, because I got really busy with that. But also because since I feel like since everything is so like technologically advanced now, like especially the beauty community, like everybody has like the best cameras and the best lighting and everything and sound like I felt like I couldn't keep up you know I wanted to go back to the olden days of YouTube like you know when Juicy Star 07 would just film on her MacBook you know I mean of course that's not good quality at all you can you can barely see the colors and everything but I kind of want to go back to that old YouTube feel where where it's like more laid back and chill. So I'm using the L'Oreal sponge. This is the first time I'm using this actually. So let's see how it works. So I thought if I really wanted to film YouTube videos, like I'm just going to film it for myself. Really like not think about having the best quality everything and just you know do it just because I like to do it and I've I've been part of the beauty community since like even before I made my own videos I've been watching you know ever since those days since Juicy Star 07 and Elle her all that glitters were you know filming with their MacBooks so I really just you know wanted to do it for fun just because I wanted to do it and not worry about having the best quality everything so yeah I thought I you know start it up again and just film whenever I feel like it not pressure myself to having a schedule you know just like it used to before so just so it's like more fun for me and more like a therapeutic kind of thing just to get um, get my feelings out basically so yeah so today i'm going to school this l'oreal sponge is actually pretty good but the foundation is good anyway so so yeah so today i'm just going to school as you know um the reason i moved to the philippines was to go to school i'm studying to be a physical therapist and um right now i am in summer school so i'm still in my this summer school i'm still in my third year but the coming um august when the actual school year starts i'm gonna be in my fourth year um the reason but the reason i am in summer school though is because i failed like two of my classes last semester and for summer school i'm i was supposed to take both of those classes but there was like a conflict of schedules so I couldn't take both. I had to choose one. So I'm definitely going to have to be taking an extra semester because uh, those two classes are prerequisites for my classes next semester. Now I'm taking the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. So yeah, there's going to be a couple classes I won't be able to take next semester because I failed two of my classes. Um, it's hard like I do admit that there is like a lack of you know self-control and um, motivation for me to like really try and pass the class but it's still hard especially living here I'm on my own my sister used to be here but she moved back to the States so I'm basic it's basically just me. My brother's here, but he's a doctor, so he's always gone. 
and I don't really have anybody else to hang out with. Um, my boyfriend's usually here, but right now he's in Barcelona because he's um, he's training for the upcoming Sea Games. He plays water polo for the um, Philippine national team, so he's doing that. So right now I am alone, but when he is here, it's a lot better. Um, but other than that, like, I don't really have anybody else. So I was just kind of having a hard time, you know, with the loneliness and, like, dealing with my feelings and emotions. I think that's, like, another part of why I didn't have motivation to study. Like, I just wanted to, like, lay in my bed and just cry all day, basically. <laughs> Um, but right now I'm feeling better. I'm feeling like okay, I really have to. I really have to work at this. This is the next. All the writing has rubbed off, but this is the NYX uh, HD concealer, photo something. Yeah, NYX HD concealer. So yeah, I'm a lot more motivated now. So I'm just gonna put this all over my blemishes. Take it a lot more seriously. I mean, I was taking it seriously before, but. I have to just think about my future basically I'm 24 now and I shouldn't be wasting any more time taking extra semesters you know trying to make up for shit I shit I've failed but you know it is what it is we go th we all go through stuff so I guess an extra semester isn't that bad I'm hoping it's not gonna be an extra year hopefully but yeah, we'll just see. I'm gonna try and work as hard as I can so it doesn't end up being an extra year. And you know, studying to be a physical therapist is hard anyway. I mean, um, the things that we have to know and learn is just, it's so, you know, it's things that you wouldn't really think about knowing. Like, we're, well, physical therapy, therapists, they're movement experts, so. I mean, that's what really what it means to be a physical therapist. So you really have to know how, you really have to know every muscle and things like that. I'm actually really impressed with this sponge. Um, it is soft, still not as soft as the beauty blender, but it blends nicely. It blends pretty much the same as the beauty blender. So yeah, I mean, I do like what I'm doing. I like learning about all the stuff about the human body and the human anatomy and how it works and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm enjoying what I'm learning. I'm just, I have to work on, you know, my emotional, my emotional health basically so what I'm doing to help with that is I'm working out I just started to work out so I heard that's really like that's really helpful oh this is the this is the collection lasting perfection ultimate wear concealer so yeah I've been working out and to be honest I hate it <laughs> I hate working out, but you know, I've read, like everywhere I've read that the way that you help with, you know, feeling not good about yourself is to exercise and get the blood flowing. I just really need to take care of my body a lot better, so I'm trying to work on that. So now I'm going to bake with this Cody Airspun powder. So I've gotten back to using this. I have been using the RCMA No Color Powder to bake. But I decided I just wanted to go back to this, change it up a bit, and I think I might like this better. But I do like a little more coverage, so that's why I think I like it. Now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Satin Smooth Normal to Dry in the shade 220 set the rest of my face i mean this look is not gonna be anything special 
I'm literally just getting ready for school. So I went back home to LA like um, April and May I was there and I went shopping like I went ham because basically I never buy any makeup here just because well because of Naomi's you know and Nigel's my sister is a pro artist so she gets a pro discount in those places so there's really no point in buying yeah. makeup here when I can get really good makeup over there for a really good discounted price so I went ham so I'd like to share those things so I'm probably gonna be doing those types of videos maybe I'll do a skincare routine because um, I've been using a lot of products changing up my skincare right now I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay beach bronzer I've had this for like the longest time probably a year and I've never used it because I love the packaging I just oh I love it but I decided why not you know why not just use it anyway I got a dog another you know th thing to help with how I'm feeling and he is helping me a little bit but he pisses me off as well because you know he's a dog and he does what dogs do and mess things up and make a mess in the house and bark at me while i'm sleeping and things like that but you know i feel like i do like it because it tests out my tests my patience it's good for me you know for my for just all around being a human being is good to have something like that to occupy my time with so i'm going back to the powder and brushing away my bake like you know right now he's chewing on everything what are you chewing oh he's chewing on his ball so we're good <laughs> he doesn't usually get into like other stuff other than his toys he's usually just chewing on his toys but of course you know he's a dog sometimes he gets into things he's not supposed to that this next step is going to be a little bit controversial because i'm going to be using a cream on top of a powder this is the becca shimmering skin perfector in the shade opal so i'm going to use this on the top of my cheekbones where i want to highlight you know what there are no rules in makeup if you do something that works for you keep doing it who cares if they say that you're not supposed to do it you know? it doesn't disrupt like my makeup and i just really like my highlight to be popping as fuck so i like to add the cream when i went to la this past couple months i got like a ton of new highlights i just bought so many i couldn't i couldn't control myself to be honest with you like i really couldn't i just wanted to buy every single highlight i saw so today i'm gonna be using this is actually a pigment from makeup forever this is this is the starlet powder number 13 we all know jacqueline hill talked about it she talked about it on her snapchat i don't know if she talked about it in her youtube videos i can't remember so when she talked about it on her snapchat i just wanted to get on it this is also the first time i'm using it i'm using the morphe m501 it looks way more intense on camera than in real life that's for sure i did order the jaclyn hill palette so i'm gonna be getting that soon because I asked my sister to order it for me and my dad is not going to be coming back to the Philippines till July 5th. So I have to so my dad's going to be bringing it here for me. So I'm going to be getting that soon and I'm so excited. I haven't gotten an eyeshadow palette in years. Years. This is actually really nice. I mean, it looks intense on camera, but it's not as intense in real life. 
and I want it to look as intense as the camera makes it look. So right now I'm gonna be putting on a blush. I depotted all my NARS and my MAC blushes and like pretty much everything else I can depot. I put it in this Makeup Forever palette. My non-MAC blushes. And I have another palette for all my matte blushes. So right now I'm gonna use this one. This one is a Tarte blush. Um, I don't know what the color. I'll just list the color down below if you wanna know. Just apply that to my cheeks. Yes, I'm loving this. Add some more highlight. Usually on an everyday basis, I don't really just mess around with eyes. Um, but sometimes I'll just do like a one color all over the lid type thing. So I'm going to be using uh, Millionaire by Colourpop. That's what it looks like. I love this. And I love the Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadows. No primer or nothing. I'm literally just slapping this on. Blend the edges out. I'm taking some more of that Makeup Forever pigment, putting that in my inner corner. I'm just gonna put on some eyebrow gel. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Mascara. I don't fill in my brows, I just do the brow gel just to be, you know, quick about it. But it's all about being quick not having to be precise and i like this because it gives my brows a little bit more fullness without having to you know pencil it in or brow powder or anything curl my lashes for mascara i'm gonna be using the maybelline plumped up colossal volume express Wow, I really miss doing this, to be honest. I love filming. So yeah, I think this is it. The only thing left is lipstick. But I'm going to be having lunch first. So I'll update you on the lipstick. I'm going to go change and get ready and everything. And then have lunch. Okay. I forgot, I am gonna set my face with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And that's it. Now I'm dressed, my bags are packed, my dog's ready to go. Let's get out of here.
Hey guys, so this is our class. Hi! Hi. We're the interns. <laughs> There's only six people in our class because we're the interns. <laughs> This is Tami. Hi, Tami. Hi. <laughs> Seth. Hi. Lulu. Hannah. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> and Zan. Zan, say hi, Papi <laughs> He's the only guy here. Because we're all girls. Pussy power. So today our professor gave us an activity that doesn't need to be turned in for two days. So I think we're gonna go home. Are we going home? Yeah, I wanna go home now. Because like the rain is so heavy. And I said bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna end the video here.